5.0 out of 5 stars. Exactly what the house needed with a new baby on the way. Spent many hours researching how to install a whole house humidifier and this one was recommended many times. When our furnace got serviced this fall the technician also recommended we get a humidifier and when I asked him which model this is the one he recommended. It's really hard to find anyone selling this unit because the manufacturer doesn't want just anyone to install it, they recommend a technician so I was pretty happy when I found it here on Amazon. After doing some research and a couple times watching this video on YouTube, I decided to take the project on myself. It actually was a lot easier than I had expected. April Air's instructions were pretty easy to follow and the automatic digital control gives you a great display in case an error code comes up. If you are good at following instructions, and have some confidence you can save yourself around $300 to $500 on the installation cost I was quoted from four different HVAC companies. I was able to complete the project in three hours. Another friend of mine installed the same unit in his house and he took just about the same amount of time, he might have been closer to 4 hours. So in 3 to 4 hours you will be sitting back enjoying the new humidifier. Things you will need to install yourself, 3 slash 4 inch PVC pipe, optional, I used it to run the 1 slash 2 inch tubing into to continue to the drain instead of running the tubing all the way. I split into the same 3 slash 4 inch coming out of the furnace. 1 slash 4 inch copper tubing to run the hot water into the humidifier. 1 slash 2 inch plastic tubing to drain the water. Sozzle or equivalent tool to cut sheet metal. Low voltage wiring to wire the thermostat and thermometer. I bought two of these Coleman cable 09631 CL2 bulk thermostat cable. 18 gauge 2 conductor 50 feet 2 electrical terminals for the wiring some wiring caps medium size foil tape I bought 3M 3311 to 50 scotch foil tape 2 inch by 50 yard pipe cutter I bought rigid 40,617 1 slash 4 inch to 1 dash 1 slash 8 inch close quarters tubing cutter. Permanent marker. Level. It's been running for over a month now and I was able to notice a difference immediately. I even have a gauge on the second floor that measures humidity and it's constantly has the correct amount of humidity in the house. I'm very happy with this purchase and highly recommend it to anyone in the market. 4.0 out of 5 stars. How to improve the functionality. I have installed the April Air Model 700 a couple of months ago. It is working properly with a couple of adjustments. I made the connection for automatic setting, with the exterior temperature sensor. When I received the humidifier I noticed the inch NEW improved wiring diagram inch, see picture. If you follow the wiring diagram, the humidifier will start working when there is a call for heat, connection inch inch. B is a problem caused by the following, 1. My furnace fan wait for 1 minute after the heat call to start running. But, the humidifier is already on and is blowing humidity into the system. 2. My basement is unfinished, and the humidity inside the returning duct goes down rather significantly, e.g. if the house's relative humidity, RH, is 40%, the returning duct might be 30%, yet once the furnace fans start running the RH stabilizes at the RH of the house. These two factor may create a very short run of the humidifier. I read all the reviews, and one solution is to wire into the furnace control card. I found this rather difficult because I couldn't find the furnace card, it is a Linux, specifications. So, the solution I found is to install a delay on make timer with 0.03 to 10 minute adjustable delay and 6 INCH wire leads, 
Universal 18 to 240 VAC. You can get this timer in Amazon as well for a $15 aprox. To install between the humidistat outputs, the second inch inch connection, and one of the solenoid line, see picture and modified wiring diagram. I adjusted the time to 3 minutes, so the RH inside the duct system can stabilize before calling for humidity. Since then, the humidifier does not blow air into the system when the furnace fan is not running, and also wait long enough to allow the RH inside the duct to stabilize. Update The humidifier has been working for three winters, and I wanted to address one concern that other reviewers have made some comments on it, water usage. I think there is not a one way to measure it. It is true that when the humidifier is on, there is a stream of water coming out from the panel, and going to drain. So, how much water is wasted? What I have done is to collect the water bills, in my case it comes every three months, and have compared the winter of 2012-2013, and this winter 2014. I have to say that this winter has been the worst in term of temperature and low humidity. The water consumption in 2012, from November 2011 to February 2012, was 1600 cu4. The same amount of water for the 2013 at the same period, and it was 1700 cu4 this winter. In term of the amount charged to the bills, they were $129, $130 and 138 respectively. However, this bill also charges the sewer, garbage, yard waste and storm water. If you count only the water and sewer, the bills will become around $80 for 3 months, and there is not a significant variation across the years. I have to clarify that I live in a small house one story and half, three bedrooms, an unfinished basement. We are two adults and three young kids. The youngest one was born in 2012. I am sure that the cost of water bill vary depending where do you live. In this place, Iowa, is not very expensive as you noticed. I have made a PDF file of the bills but I can't see the option to upload the file anymore. I understand that this is not a scientific measure of how much water is used by the humidifier, but from a consumer perspective and practical standpoint, I would say that this is more than acceptable for me. The equipment runs without a problem so far. I have replaced the panel after each winter. It is noisy though and I can hear through my unfinished basement and the noise coming from the air ducts. Still, it is a relief that I don't have to worry about too dry air at home. Update I received a couple of comment about the water consumption, and I wanted to upload of a picture of my 2016 water bills. As I stated before, there is not significant or meaningful increase on the bill. If you see the February and May bills, you will see that there are a slight increase of water bills to $35 from $30 to $32 from summer months. I do not believe that this is all due to my humidifier. Longer shower on winter time may affect more than humidifiers running for a longer period of time. In term of CCF, it goes from 13 in summer months to 14 to 15 in winter slash spring. If you have read my previous update from 2013 the water consumption was about 17, and I bet that is because my kids don't take a daily bath anymore and take showers. For those who want an exact measure of water consumption, it is rather complicated because it depends on many things like relative humidity, outside temperature, if you have connected a sensor outside like me, the size of your house, the volume of air that your furnace move, and many other things. I think a measure of X gallons of water per 1 hours in my house of active operation will be meaningless for most of you because of all these factors. Again, 
the water is cheap in this area, and I bet that 2 ccf increase, this is about 1500 gallons, and your water consumption may be something costly. For me, this is about 15% of increase, but it is only around $5 for 3 months. So, I am not going to calculate the exact amount of water per minutes of operation which I could do with a bucket and timer when this measure will not serve anyone who live in a very different condition. Thanks, and I hope that this helps. P.S. My humidifier continues to work with the original parts. The only part that I need to change is the filter every year, and do some cleaning at the end of the season. It has not started working actively since we are just beginning with the winter. P.S.2 My humidifier kick in last night. The amount of water running into the drain is about 2 cups per minute. This is about 120 cups per hour of active operation, about 7.5 gallons. My humidifiers works for few minutes in each cycle of furnace operation. I have a saddle valve, so I cannot control the flow of the water, but I bet that you could install a small good quality valve to minimize the waste of water. I am not sure if this is worth of effort for the amount of water and the cost in my case though. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Affordable, quality unit. I had been researching whole house humidifiers for some time and finally decided on this April Air Model 700 automatic whole house powered humidifier with digital control from talking to local HVAC installers and reviews I located online. I checked around and the lowest I could find someone to install it for me was $350, so I decided to take the plunge and do it myself. I was a little apprehensive because I had never worked with a furnace or cutting into sheet metal before. I bought an inexpensive pair of sheet metal snippers and it was a little difficult, but not bad overall to cut the hole in the plenum. Home Depot proved to be invaluable in helping me with the plumbing connections. I used shark bite fittings instead of the supplied saddle valve, every plumber I talked to advised me against using the saddle valve. I also used plastic pipe instead of copper. Overall I spent about $70 on supplies. I installed the unit on the supply side, as was recommended, but I could not justify hooking it into the hot water line and watch energy just pour down the drain. The instructions indicated a cold water supply was fine as long as the unit was mounted on the supply side. The unit does trickle water down the drain hose as it is operating, this is normal. My biggest apprehension was the wiring. I found some very helpful YouTube videos of an HVAC installer somewhere in the Midwest installing one of these in a client's home. I probably watched them 20 times during my own installation. One hiccup I encountered was after wiring everything according to the instructions. My unit powered on fine, but would come on when there was a call for heat, instead of waiting for the blower to come on. This made me extremely nervous as I didn't want water vapor blowing into the plenum before the blower was operating. A quick email to the YouTube video publisher mentioned earlier confirmed my worry and he explained to wire the transformer into the hum terminal neutral on the furnace board and to then use the power for the blower heat terminal for the power. The installation instructions made no mention of what is correct as to when the HUMI differ should come on, but for peace of mind, wiring as suggested by the HVAC installer was preferred. One additional step I took was to purchase some duct sealant that I then used to caulk around the unit to seal off any gaps. I have already noticed a huge difference in the humidity level in our home as we live in a very dry climate in SC Idaho. I was tired of spending money upon money buying tabletop humidifiers that required expensive filters or just broke down and were junk after a couple of years. This unit seems like it will meet my needs, I give it 5 stars and would encourage someone with general handyman skills to go ahead and try installing, 
but to be prepared to ask questions if you get stuck. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Exactly what the house needed with a new baby on the way. Spent many hours researching how to install a whole house humidifier and this one was recommended many times. When our furnace got serviced this fall the technician also recommended we get a humidifier and when I asked him which model this is the one he recommended. It's really hard to find anyone selling this unit because the manufacturer doesn't want just anyone to install it, they recommend a technician so I was pretty happy when I found it here on Amazon. After doing some research and a couple times watching this video on YouTube, I decided to take the project on myself. It actually was a lot easier than I had expected. April Air's instructions were pretty easy to follow and the automatic digital control gives you a great display in case an error code comes up. If you are good at following instructions, and have some confidence you can save yourself around $300 to $500 on the installation cost I was quoted from four different HVAC companies. I was able to complete the project in three hours. Another friend of mine installed the same unit in his house and he took just about the same amount of time, he might have been closer to four hours. So in three to four hours you will 